Welcome back. You're watching Market Cafe on ET Now. And as promised, we have Ria standing by to tell us all the stocks that are in focus and that will be actually moving or based on news flow. A uh, very good morning to you, Ria. So, which are the stocks that are on your radar today? Yes, good morning. So let's take a look at the stocks that are going to be in focus today. First up, we have Oriental Trimex, for which the rights issue opens today until the 27th of September. And the total issue size for this is Rs 48.51 crores. And the issue price is Rs 11 per share. So we're definitely watching out for Oriental Trimax. Uh, we also have Pritika Engineering in focus, which is going to purchase an uh, 87,000 square feet land for uh, the expansion in Hoshiapur. And this land purchase is likely to be completed by the end of October 2024. We also have Ereda in focus today since uh, they have received the approval for the uh, uh, for the alternative mechanism for raising of funds through the QIP route up to an extent of 7% of the paid up equity. Let's shift focus though to Nazara Technologies which has approved a preferential issue for the issuance of up to 94.31 lakh equity shares at an issue price of Rs 954.27 to aggregate which aggregates uh, to an amount not exceeding Rs 900 crores. Uh, now, the investors for this issue are likely to be SBI Innovative Opportunities Fund, Think India Opportunities Master Fund and also Siddharth Sacheti and uh, Mithun uh, Sacheti among other investors. Now, on Nazara uh, Technologies, they have also acquired an additional 19.35% uh, of Absolute Sports Private Limited uh, for Rs 145.47 crores and they have increased uh, their stake in this company to 91%. We also have Century Textiles in focus today since the Ministry of Corporate Affairs has approved uh, the uh, change of their name from Century Textiles and Industries Limited to Aditya Builder Real Estate Limited. And in fact, Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers is also in focus since they have received an order for the construction and delivery of an additional four multi-purpose vehicles for an additional consideration worth $54 million. Lastly, we are also keeping an eye out on Aurobindo Pharma, which has entered into a binding agreement with GLS Pharma Limited and its promoters for the acquisition of the balance 5.9 lakh equity shares, which is 49% of GLS for a total purchase con consideration of Rs 22.5 crores. So we're definitely keeping an eye out on all of these stocks today. Well, absolutely. Definitely keeping an eye on all of those stocks. There you have it. That's a list of stocks that are in focus on back of news flow. But let's also get to the list of counters that are in focus because they make it to brokerage radar this morning. And Gaurav standing by with that update. Gaurav? Well, yes. Let's begin with Excite because City has now maintained my rating but cut the target price for the company to 560 rupees. What they say is that there is sluggishness in the auto OEM volumes and that is the reason why we may see some uh, sluggishness in the revenue growth as well for, for Excite. But at the same time, they also believe that the company is expected to benefit from the replacement demand. So, the vehicles which were sold in FY22 and 23 will hit its first battery replacement cycle in FY25 and that is the reason why they have maintained buy rating on Excite. Up next, we have is Tata Motors where MK has actually upgraded the rating to buy while maintaining the, maintaining the target price to 1175 rupees. What they say is that profitability and deleveraging strategies are still underway for the company. Demand for CV is actually improving. When we talk about passenger vehicles, they say that this, the Tata Motors is actually at a relatively better place if we compare it with the peers. And when we talk about valuations also, they find some comfort in valuation given that the stock has fallen recently. And that is the reason why they have actually upgraded the rating to buy. Other than that, let's also focus on Brainly solution because we have got two brokers is actually initiating. So first we have is Morgan Stanley who initiated with overweight trading and a target price of 818 rupees. What they say is that Brainbees is actually well placed and well capitalized when we talk about India's growing childcare business through their brand First Cry. And apart from that, we also have Bofa who initiated with buy rating and a target price of 770 rupees. Because what they also say is that First Cry is a niche player and at the same time, it also has some growth levers when we talk about profitability. So definitely watching out on all these counters on the back of the brokerage note that we have received today. Thank you so much for that, Gaurav, for outlining all the stocks and focus on back of brokerages. But that's not all. We also have PNG India as well as Gillette India that will be in focus. Ria, uh, why will both of them be in focus in trade today? Yes, so yesterday both PNG India and Gillette India held their analyst meets and uh, for PNG the CFO Mrinalini Srinivasan highlighted that rural demand is expected to keep up though they do anticipate some short term challenges to persist. Now since PNG is the market leader in the feminine care category with half of the market share and the market, a feminine care market actually stands at 3,400 crores, they are expecting double digit uh, growth over the next three years and they have also received some initial feedback for the new product launches which has been very positive. 
positive. In fact, for the premium category, uh, they have uh, done some innovation and operational productivity, which has led to margin improvement in FY24. In terms of volume growth for the FMCG segment, that is expected to be in the mid single digit for FY25. And uh, if you talk about the feminine and healthcare segment split, the growth has been balanced across both segments. Uh, and uh, the, they have grown distribution uh, by 1.5 times in the feminine hygiene market over the last couple of years. They've also said that they are developing some in-house AI and ML models for better efficiency going forward and they are seeing some green shoots in rural con uh, consumption coming in and on uh, quick commerce they have commented saying that since quick commerce is experiencing a lot of rapid growth they have also invested in R&D to understand the quick commerce consumer behavior. Now let's also quickly take a look at Gillette for which uh, the CFO Gautam Kamat highlighted that they are also uh, uh, since they are seeing lower inflation and a strong monsoon that is going to augur well for rural consumption going forward and they are uh, the rising unemployment and declining rural wages would also be the key factors to watch out for. Now, the grooming category stands at rupees 3,300 crores, which is growing at a mid single digit uh, pace. And the shifting trend, uh, trend towards men having more beards actually presents uh, big opportunities for new solutions for Gillette. And since the focus has been on uh, in home hair removal, razors have seen the fastest growth. Now, in this segment, the performance of Venus has actually doubled over the last five years and is growing at a double digit uh, pace. Uh, they've also said that uh, structural margins have improved in FI24, uh, driven by cost productivity and product innovation. Alright, thanks Ria for that update coming in. So those were the key takeaways when it comes to that analyst meet but with. If you like this video then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.